My name is Ethan. Welcome back to my channel. So, well, welcome back to our channel. Um, it's Sonia, and today I've got somebody very special. Um, this is Ethan. <laughs> are you going to distract me in the video? Oh. You are, aren't you? You are, aren't you? Oh. So we've just woken up from a good nap and a good feed. So he's in a happy mood, aren't you, baby? Aren't you, darling? Huh? He's looking at a mirror. So that's why he's looking and laughing because he can see mommy in the reflection anyway see i'm going to get so distracted doing this update video because he's just going to distract me aren't you so ethan is for just over four and a half months see i always get confused with how to count my baby's age because i don't know if i should go by weeks if I go by week he's 19 weeks but if I go by months he is just over four and a half months so I, I, I don't know because yeah it's just confusing but anyway he is basically nearly five months so this is going to be his four month four and a half month update and I can't believe how quickly time has flown uh, what do you want to say hmm? What do you want to tell the people? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. There you go. There you go. He is doing so well. He is flourishing. He's a happy baby. Aren't you, Pudding? Yes, you are. You're a happy baby. Huh? He's so happy. He laughs and giggles. Um, he's starting to reach for things and grab things. He holds on to things pretty well and now everything goes in his mouth i think he's getting to the exploratory phase where he likes to just explore things <laughs> you're making mommy laugh huh i'm not gonna get very far in this video am i i took some notes that's why I, you know i don't forget anything um so that's why i'm gonna be looking down um so he's now sleeping almost sleeping through the night <laughs> He giggles a lot as you can see um uh oh i haven't really tried to get him into a routine i'm kind of probably waiting for the six month mark i don't know but for now he is actually he does sleep really well he wakes up probably once um for like a dream feed and then he'll just drink in his sleep and then go to sleep won't you yes you will his last feed is around 11 at night and then he'll fall asleep maybe an hour later and then wake up possibly like maybe like around six for a feed and then he'll then go back to sleep um, until maybe nine o'clock so his sleep is pretty pretty good i have no complaints there um he loves tummy time he's so good from quite when he was pretty young he was pretty good with his neck um what's up today and he enjoys being on his tummy he sleeps on his stomach as well I just find that is more comfortable for him so I just let him sleep on his tummy because when he when he, I, let, I make him I always try and put him to sleep on his back but he kind of has this kind of feels like he's free falling his arm go all over the place so I just let him sleep on his stomach because he has a better sleep when he does that I feel like he's teething he's been drooling a lot and just putting everything in his mouth and he just bites as he's doing um, I just want to nibble a mommy's hand. Hmm? What's, what's wrong, darling? I'm still exclusively breastfeeding, which is which I haven't had any issues in. Um, he loves his milk. He can eat for basically two people. This little boy loves his milk. I'm looking to introduce 
solids possibly like around the six month mark that's what they say anyway um, so I still don't know what the first thing that I want him to try I've already let him kind of nibble and suck on like cucumber or mango and he seems to like that anyway so I think he's gonna love his food hmm? what are you putting? when it comes to his skin um, at the moment I use coconut oil and shea butter um, for his hair his skin as well um, just to kind of keep it moisturized because he has a little bit of eczema on his legs and a bit on his back so it's but it's clearing because I went to the doctors and he gave me some hydrocortisone um, the lowest dose which I think is 1% um, so that's helped clear up his eczema let me know in the comment section what you guys use on your baby's skin um, I'm looking to possibly make him whip him up a nice you know baby friendly body butter um, and I'll probably film, I might I might film a video with that. Hi, pudding. So I've had to cut out dairy because he gets too mucusy. He starts throwing up a bit um, and his poo is all mucusy. So I have to, you know, basically become a vegan. Don't I, Guru? Hmm? Pumpkin. I do. But I don't mind. Um, so I don't know how he will be when it comes to things with dairy, but we'll see how that goes mm -hmm. So I feel like the teeth are starting to you know Try starting to try and make an appearance. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to I already have some calpo um, I'm gonna get a few things. I need to probably do some research on things to help him transition into having teeth and bite me because this one even though he has no teeth he likes to bite when he's feeding which is painful and he <laughs> he will look at me won't you if you have any tips um, for teething oh teething or getting into like a sleeping routine please leave it in the comment section below anyway guys I'm going to go now and feed this little human of mine because somebody's getting grumpy aren't you are you getting grumpy are you pretending are you pretending <laughs> anyway guys I'll see you guys in my next video bye say bye bye say bye bye what else I time for to subscribe make sure you thumbs up the video huh Oh, put it in.